This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So Mariah Lynn from Baddies Caribbean was on IG Live today talking about Anna Mack and her mom putting hands on each other. She also made it very clear she has no issues with Anna Mack despite their upcoming physical tussle. Listen to this. I was not allowed to go live for mad fucking long. Let me not even curse on here because I wasn't allowed to go live until my birthday, I think it was. And then I did try to go live on my birthday, but it wouldn't work. So I guess it's working now. But I just came on here because I know I just posted something. I took it down because, you know, today's just one of them days. Like, I feel like the toxicity and the negativity is at like an all time high. The Mariah Lynn hate train, like, it's crazy. And, you know, usually, like, I really don't paint mine. I don't, nothing. But it's, it's, listen, like, it's the when, when the TV shit starts to come into my real life and it starts to really kind of affect me in a way, because usually I don't give a fuck. But when it comes to people I care about and problems that happen, like, for example, I'm not going to speak on it too much because we promised not to speak on it. But me and Anna did speak a few days ago and, you know, we left off. It's just too much. <clears throat> I never sick my mom on Anna. I never told my mom to hit Anna. Was I mad at my mom for doing that? Absolutely. But that's a conversation that I had to have with my mother in private. That's not for Instagram. That's not for none of that shit. That is within my family. You feel me? Now, again... Like I said, when I got the call, I was at the airport that whatever took place in the hotel lobby happened. My mother said something. She said something back. And then it just escalated from there. Now, am I mad at Anna for defending herself? Absolutely not. Defend yourself by all means. I'm not saying don't defend yourself. You feel me? But all I did ask was you didn't think that that was you know, my mother for a second, which I'm sure she did. I'm sure that she did. And I'm sure that she was put in a situation where she had to do what she had to do. You feel me? If it was me in that situation, I might have handled it differently. I might have not. I don't know because it wasn't me in that situation. But my mother is my mother. And I do respect the fact that Anna knew, like, you know, if somebody put their hands on my mother, like, we're going to have to get it. We're going to have to run it. And that's what we did and it hurt both of us to do that and y'all will see next episode and y'all will see in the Sundays to come that y'all fans like some of y'all fans not all y'all fans some of y'all fans have coconuts as fucking heads like there's nothing in there like it's a cracked coconut like the juice has leaked the fuck out all your brain cells are gone you're burnt you're washed you're fried because y'all watch the same episodes that we watch and y'all take shit and y'all try to run with it like Y'all try to make shit and y'all try to put us against each other when y'all don't even know what be going on behind the scenes. Y'all don't even know what we deal to, deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Y'all don't know what we're dealing with within filming this TV show and outside of filming this TV show. Like, we have real fucking lives. We're really going through shit, you coconut head bitches. So I'm going to try to help you understand and then I'm not going to waste the rest of my morning on this. I'm back to the point. If I was there that day in that lobby... That physical altercation would have not happened. I would have controlled my mother. And I definitely would have been telling Anna, like, we're not doing that. You feel me? Let it go. She just sucks. She just mad. Because what I don't know is something had happened earlier in the day. And that's where it stemmed from. So I never sent nobody to sick nobody. And I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even put my mother in that situation. That's weird. One, not in my character. Two, three... Y'all are forgetting that me and Anna were really, like, we were close, close. And still, that I still love Anna. I was still defend. I was still not letting nobody hurt her. It hurt me to hurt her. Feel me? So, again, if I was there, that wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have let that shit go down. And I was very disappointed in both my mother and Anna. You feel me? But it happened. So now we got to move forward. You feel me? Moving forward, y'all will see, and I'm not going to tell too much because, you know, this is my job. I'm under contract. I cannot tell y'all everything that happened. But what I will say is that even me and my sister have this for it. Like, sisters fight. They go through shit. You understand? Like, not everything is perfect. Look at Callie and Gretch. Them bitches went from fighting each other to fighting other bitches for each other. 
You feel me? Y'all are not in our shoes to judge us. I love you, Seki. Y'all are not in our shoes to judge us. I would like to see how some of y'all would handle being in our shoes while we're filming baddies and while we're dealing with real life shit outside of filming. You feel me? It became real life shit when that shit happened with my mother and aunt. It became real life hard because I love this girl so much. This is my sister. This is my friend. This is someone I built a bond with and went through a journey with. You understand? And then this is my mother who gave me life. You understand? So I was put in a bind. And I don't always get on here and speak because, again, y'all like to take everything I say and fucking run with it. But on another note, fuck all y'all haters. Fuck the hate train. I really am really getting to the fucking bag. Like, look at my skin. Look at my... I'm getting thick as hell. Like, I'm so happy. I'm in love. And... I just want to indulge in that. Like, I know I get it. These episodes, like, y'all don't understand how it feels to have to relive this shit. We already lived it. Now we got to relive it with y'all and y'all judgment and y'all criticism. Like, <laughs> stop being so trollish. Stop being so fucking coconut headish. Like, coconut head ass people. Like, y'all don't know what be going on behind the scenes. Y'all don't know what. Why shit pops off the way it does. But I will say this. Please, please, please leave my mother out of this. Y'all can say what y'all want about me. But leave my mother out of this because my mother is regretful for her actions. And she is, she does feel bad about what happened. I hope y'all don't think that she doesn't. Because I definitely had this conversation with my mother. Like, you're a mother. You need to stay in a mother's place. And I get it. A mother wants to protect their cub. If you're a mother, then you will understand how a mother feels wanting to protect their seed, their child, no matter what age you are. A mother is going to, uh, the the natural motherly instinct is to protect. But exactly, Ernest, people don't want to understand. They don't want to. So you don't have to. And that's okay for the people who do understand and they do motherfucking register. Roger that. I appreciate y'all. And I thank y'all for, you know, showing me love and sending me prayers because it is hard to be in this. Baddies is not all rainbows and unicorns. Like, I love you, Tiseki, so much, sister. Isn't that we all go, every single one of us go through shit. You know what I'm saying? And I listen, I don't have bonds with all the girls, but Anna is definitely a girl that I have a bond with. And no matter what we went through, like, I still love her. I have no, no malicious intent for her. Like, she's such a vibrant person. She's funny. She's beautiful. She's young. She's talented. Like, you feel me? I have no hate for anybody except if I really don't fucking like you. Then if I don't like you, bitch, I don't like you and I hate you and go to hell with no air conditioner. Cool. But I think that's why I wanted to get on here because any other time, like, I really don't care to address anything. But I wanted to address this because I see all of the negative. Y'all don't have to be so negative and hateful all the time. Like, we're humans. We have feelings. We feel too. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I know I'm a bitch sometimes. But to know me is to love me. And so to, I just said that to say this, like, you feel me? Why don't y'all focus on the new music that we got coming out? Like, exactly. Baddies is hard. Like... It's, it's it's not easy. You feel me? Thank God that we have people, you know, thank shout out to the Zeus team. Like we have people we build bonds with and they're there for us throughout the process. But we're, remember, we're there without our family. I flew my mom out to Puerto Rico and my aunt out to Puerto Rico because I felt like I was starting to go into like, I don't know, like I don't trust. Who do I trust? Like it was a lot going on and I just needed to hug my mother. Like I, when I called my mother to come to Puerto Rico, it was not to fight Anna. I literally called my mother like, hey, mom, I'm going to fly you out because I just need a hug. You feel me? So with that being said, I just don't want this to carry on. So this is for y'all entertainment and that's okay. Y'all can be entertained, but just remember that we're humans. Like, you feel me? I'm such a cancer, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I'm emotional. Like, I'm a cancer. You feel me? And I know on TV before, I've always been, like, so hard. And, like, but when you meet me in person, like, I'm really not like that. And everybody could tell you. I'm, like, so sweet. I love my friends. I love my family. And I just want my family to be good. I just want my friends. I don't want my family in these fucking problems. Like, are y'all serious? So, um... Just remember when y'all watch this scene with me and Anna on Sunday, this is two people who love each other, whose hands were forced to do what we had to do. You feel me? And for all the people out there, my mom did not get so up. Like, security was there. Motherfuckers barely got his. Anna, 
I already know, we already spoke. You got to remember when we're in confessionals, we have to stay in that moment and how we felt in that moment. So I can't be mad at what she said. Um, and you know, it obviously it, it bothers me, but listen, I understand at the end of the day, like that's how you felt in the moment, whatever, cool. But you know, yeah, nobody was jumped. Like my mom is just who she is and I can't help that either. Like, but if I was there, it wouldn't have happened. And I, I hate the situation for both of us. And I hate that we have to relive it. And I hate that y'all fucking act like demons. Some of y'all are like demons in the comments. And I rebuke that shit in the name of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and all Mary's little lambs. I rebuke that. From me, from Anna, from my mom. I rebuke that. For real. Like I said, two people who really care about each other who still care about each other's whose hand was forced. And I don't really give a fuck if y'all believe my side of the story or not. That's why I don't get on here every Sunday and run my mouth and say, I just got on here today because the honest situation is very sensitive for me. It does bother me that we have to relive this. And I just don't want our relationship to be tainted after we've already got past this because y'all fans don't know how to realize that this shit was shot months ago and bitches are already past this, have been in the club together, have cried it out, fought it out, and we are where we are. Like, I just, I'm not angry anymore. Like, I don't want to be angry. So I hope that y'all not mad at me for not wanting to be angry. And I hope that y'all could maybe get to know me a little bit more, try to get to know me a little bit more and stop just thinking that I'm like somebody I'm not. God don't like ugly and he's not too fond of pretty neither. So remember that. And remember when you're hating from behind your telephone and your computers, I'm living my best life. I'm traveling the world. I'm getting to a bag. I'm doing what I love to do in life, which is make music. I have a nonprofit organization. I help DV victims. I'm an advocate for the LGBTQ community. Like, I really do shit. I, I do lupus give. So, yeah, I'm not messy all the time. And I can be a messy bitch, but. Anyways, my managers called me. It's time to get business. They probably going to take my live after this. So y'all probably won't see me for another year. <laughs> and tune in, Baddies Caribbean, every Sunday. I love y'all. Stay tuned. I got a new song dropping. Barbie Bentega, Mariah Lynn levels dropping July 28th with the video on Raw Star. So make sure y'all tap into that. I love y'all. And thank you for everybody sending me love. I love, 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 love y'all. I need love today. Just give me love today. <laughs> And if y'all will remember, Anna Mack was in tears on IG Live a few weeks back saying she hasn't been cool with Mariah Lynn and that Mariah's mother and aunt tried to jump her off camera. And that's what led up to their tussle. Check this out. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't fuck with you. I'm like, I don't fuck with you, but nobody got to know that I don't fuck with you. Like, I don't, this TV shit. Hold on. Because this TV shit, not even my type of... No, it's not even... No, Camilla, at all. I'm going to let you know. But this TV shit, not even my type of type of move. Like, I'm a real ass bitch. Y this TV shit is for fun. I told this bitch, I'm like... I don't... When I fuck with people, I fuck with them. It ain't about no TV. So when I fell out with her, I was like, bro, nobody got to know that we're not cool. Nobody has to know we're not friends. Nobody has to know. I didn't tell nobody that I was not her friend. Everybody knew... Everybody found out me and Mariah wasn't friends because, um, why did they find out? Oh, everybody found out that we wasn't friends because yeah, they realized, they seen that I wasn't, I wasn't kicking it with Tzatziki and Mariah and Biggie. Like, when they was together, I was over there. And I, big, I would wait for Biggie and Tzatziki to come to me. Because it's like, you're not going to make, um, one, you're not going to make me a storyline. Two... It's like, bitch, you already know why you playing with my gangster, though, because you, I already told you I don't want to fight you. So now I feel like you're trying to play play with me. Yeah, no, y'all wasn't, no. So, I'm a real ass bitch. The way we even fell out, because I'm not a weird bitch. I'm a real ass bitch. I told Mariah right, I don't fuck with that weird shit. So, your mother trying to fight me and this and that, like, I don't play like that. Everybody know. Y'all don't know, but Tzatziki, Biggie, Mariah, everybody knows what it was. Everybody in that house knew what it was. 
So all that shit was weird to me. That's why Tasiki stood up. That's why y'all don't know. So I'm not a weird bitch. This TV shit, I'm funny. I don't even like to fight. I like to be funny. I like to be funny. And I don't fight people that I say I love. I don't fight people that's been in my crib. I don't fight people that I tell my business to or you've been in my crib. And I'm definitely not fighting no bitch that I say it's my sister. So all this weird shit, like, I don't even want to watch the rest of the fucking season. Because I'm not joking with y'all. That shit was not the fucking vibe for me. That shit wasn't the vibe for me. None of that shit was the vibe for me. And I'm not a weird bitch, so. Wow, that was hard to watch seeing Anna Mac crying like that. And it does seem like Mariah is a bit over it. But I do hope that these two ladies will resolve things. And I just want to put it out there that I do not condone any sort of bullying, any sort of tussling. I believe that the best way to deal with things is to use your words and to keep your hands to yourself. So I just wanted to put that out there. But definitely let me know your thoughts on the situation. Let me know your thoughts on if you're watching Baddies Caribbean and what you think about, you know, what's going on with these two ladies. Definitely let me know your thoughts. And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you got any hot tea from me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.